Close your eyes and watch your breath. And depend on yourself to stay with the breath. The sound of the Dharma talk can help. It acts like a fence. If you're tempted to leave the breath, you run into the talk, and the talk is sending you back to the breath. But you can depend on fences like this only at certain times. Other times you have to keep watch over your own mind, and everything else in the world seems to be conspiring against that. This is when you have to really be independent. Learn how to rely on yourself, that you want to make sure that you do what is skillful and avoid what is unskillful, no matter what the world is pushing you or what direction the world is pushing you into. So you have to remind yourself, what do you want out of life? You want a true happiness. The world out there, for the most part, says that's un impossible. They want you to buy their things instead. But as they say, whoever dies with the most toys still dies. You can't take the toys with you. So the wealth of the world and all the other things they use to lure you into their way of seeing things all fall apart. You want something that's more reliable, something that's more solid. You want to keep that thought in mind, because that's the thought that helps motivate you to do what is skillful and to abandon what's unskillful, to develop the qualities of mind that will lead to a happiness that is more reliable, that is more solid, has fewer drawbacks. And that happiness is part of the path, and the path takes you to a happiness that has no drawbacks at all. It is possible. So you have to keep reminding yourself, because everything else in the world is telling you to forget that, or to pretend that it's not true. But what does the world know? It's full of other people who are aging, growing ill, dying, scrambling to find happiness, not really knowing what, what they're doing, but coming up with some ideas and trying to push you in their direction. So you've got to learn how to depend on yourself. As the Buddha said, atta hiyata no nato. The self is its own mainstay. If you don't have the, yourself as a mainstay, who can be your mainstay? So try to make yourself more reliable. Make yourself somebody that you can depend on. And when you can depend on yourself, then other people find they can depend on you as well. At the very least, you don't lead them astray. And you can provide them with a good example. So keep watch over yourself, and stay firm in your determination to do what you know deep down in, the, in your heart is right. That's for your own good and for the good of others.